Okay, well I was actually trying to do this outside earlier on a walk and then I had to go work out and then my phone died so I'm inside. But it's kind of fitting that I would give this video um, today in front of my computer um, because this is how it started. <laughs> Just me in front of my YouTube cam. So um, last night we finished filming the final um, um, scenes from Mind Sick or in Time Sick, well Mind Sick, but from the Time Key story. Um, if we do anything more with that particular storyline, it'll probably be part of the Racky Podcast Network. <laughs> and as far as Time Keys, it was the final filming with that cast and that storyline. Um, so it's a little bittersweet and it's caused me to think a little bit about that season of my life as I put it to rest as far as Time Keys. Um, we at Cafe Girl Productions are looking at ways that we can allow other people and other casts and other storylines to come in and create something out of it. Whatever, whatever that would be. Um, I think that would be a beautiful thing for me and has been a beautiful thing to create something that I started with and to allow it to just to see where it would go as I have seen that in the last couple of years. So, um, what have I learned? Um, a lot, but I think the first thing is about taking risks. Um, and this all started because I had some dreams in 2012 and then I kept writing them down, writing, writing the script down, had this idea, would talk to people, acting teachers, be like, so what do you think? Should I, what should I do with this? Just put it on YouTube. And I was like, what? YouTube? I don't know. And then, um, you know, I was just doing acting and, and just as an actor, just an actor, that's a hard life, but just an actor. And, um, I had a friend sit me down while I was helping out as a PA in a film and said, uh, I think you could be a really good producer. And I was like, what? And so it was in 2015, the end of 2015, that I took a risk. And that risk, I think that that's what I've learned is that you don't grow by staying safe. You don't grow by playing, taking it easy or the easy route. Um, because I didn't know what I was doing or why I was doing it. I just said, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. I feel strongly that I need to do this. And I followed that. And that every time I've taken a risk since then, or even before that, it's always ended good. And, and I've always learned and grown and become more of who I am today. Um, so that's the one, the first stop. And then I think that the next one is love. Um, majority of my life, I've always been around people that I've given love to them and they've taken advantage of it or they've um, misused it some way. So that until now, those last couple of years, I didn't believe that I was worthy of love or anything inwardly. So I, I believed it, I had to give out and give out and give out and I didn't believe that I was worthy of receiving. And it was always surprising to me that when the original cast from 2015 and 2016 came back to film Heartsick and Homesick in 2017, I was like, why? And well, they love me. I mean, that's what it comes down to. And they love their characters and they're having fun. And I just didn't really see that or even believe it could be possible. And it was because of that cast and that crew, this cast and crew. And it, not just the original cast, but everyone that's come on board, I've seen that I'm loved. And now I believe that I'm worthy of love. As much as I give out, I receive. And I'm worthy of that. And then I'm also worthy of success. And I'm worthy of prosperity and financial abundance. And, and, and that I'm good with money. And I've learned a lot about that. And um, I think as Cafe Girl moves forward in every capacity, you know, now I'm I never would have thought that I could even have created or even be a producer, but that guy way back in the day, I guess he was right. But um, 
I've been through so much. Um, not just receiving the love from people that loves me and, and holding my hand, but I have had to push away, cut out of my life again and again and again in these last couple of years, people that are toxic. And I've had to do that when people don't understand. Like other people may not understand or they may not see it. I've had to kind of choose a path that is different than what the status quo says or or, or whatnot because I don't want to engage with um, unhealthy people. And it's been for the better for my own self as a human and for my business. Um, and just actively make that choice and stand up for what's that, what is right. And um, so I've grown in that way. And I think that if I hadn't had that core group of love, then I wouldn't be who I am today. And once again, I'm taking a risk and moving forward um, and continuing forward even, even where I'm at today. And I think that, um, I always say that the term cafe girl was originated because I hung out at a cafe when in 2003 with a bunch of boys and such. And that's true. That's me as cafe girl originated from that. And that's like, that's the brainchild. That's the, the impetus that, that freedom of creativity and love of life and spontaneity and, you know, just being in the moment and, and truly being true to who you are is, is definitely the core. But I think also the original cast and crew or just the cast and crew of Time Keys, of the whole Time Keys, let's just call it franchise. <laughs> um, they are that foundation of Cafe Girl Productions and moving forward as I write the business plans and the grants and move forward and whatever else comes from now, from here, from this point forward, I will always maintain that, that foundation and remember the love that we had and the joy and the jokes and the purity of purpose and the togetherness and the family. I mean, everything that I've done, the Cafe Girl has done and that I've done as an actor, we've all had our own little mini families, but that's important for me to know, for them to know that that's the foundation belief structure. So now I want to go through, I've got the time keys Facebook up because I may forget some names. Can you still see me? All right, good. So I'm going to go through the people that came later and then I'll end with the first. So first of all, of course, my co-producer and one of my, um, it says he's the captain one at Walmart. So maybe I'll just start calling him captain, <laughs> captain Christie. Anyways, thank you, Wes Christie. You are an amazingly gentle spirit, talented, and I love working with you in every capacity, and I'm grateful for you um, and for your patience and your dedication and listening to me and supporting me and just being a good brother. To my Ruby, I love you so much, my Felicity. Um, I've loved seeing you flourish from that awkward girl I met at the warehouse um, moving forward. Um, to Brittany, of course, thank you. You did a lot and I appreciate all that you've ever done and the heart that you put into this project and to your character and to these other characters that I love so much. To Sarah Pearl, thank you so much for all that you've done, just for being a big cheerleader for all of us. To Nolan, my fool, you're awesome. I, you are an effortless talent. You can be Nolan Kenment, and then the next minute you're the fool. You just like slip in and out of it and it's effortless. And I am in awe of that. Um, David Nino, where would I be without you? That's all. You're enthusiastic and a joy to be around always. Rain Haywood, the sexiest, most badass, um, villain ever. Noah, yes, you were there and you're awesome. Thank you. 
like a hover mail, my croggy. Thank you for being an agent and for the use of your house time and time again. And that goes for Remedy and your whole family. I love you all. Francesca, what can I say? You are one of the most talented humans I've ever met. I really want you to know that. I am amazed at the things you created. I mean, Haley, that was beautiful. I mean, she's a beautiful woman and you made her just like ferociously ugly. <laughs> But it was just beautiful. It was a work of art, and you just need to know that. Robert Hastings, you are Robert Roger Frank John. You are um, Rassilon, Dassilon, and you are a sweet spirit, and I've always felt really loved and encouraged by you. Jimmy, another amazing talent. Know that, and I am super excited to see that you're continuing your education and just in the dorms, and that you've moved out, you got a new car, and I am just hang in there. I mean, I know it's been rough, but it will be rough again, and that's okay. You will survive. Um, Lizzie, my Lizzie, I would just love you. You're like a little sister to me. Thank you. Michelle, thank you so much for your support and for bringing your daughter around again and again and again. She's a delight. Hannah, Hannah, you are a spitfire, and you are going to change the world. I am so excited to see what you're going to do um, in the world of film and everything. So thank you for just being my friend. And when I came and said, come sit with me, you came and sat down because you're pretty cool. Beth, you're amazing. You are a kindred spirit like myself. And I enjoyed giving you the chance to be on camera. And I can't wait to edit your scenes and then put them out there so you can see yourself. And it's awesome. Jonathan, John Oles, you're a badass. Thank you so much for just your sense of humor and your sweetness and your um, encouragement. Let's see. David Hill, thank you for your use of the RV so we could do night shoots. Thank you. Cassandra, you're amazing. You're a gentle, bright spirit. You're like a little flower. Stephanie, like 2017 couldn't have happened without you. You're my Ross. I love you. I believe in you. Know that. And I'm here for you. Haley, my queen, I love you, beautiful woman. I'm so excited for you. You're one of the most talented people I know. And I'm so excited that you're pursuing your health. Keep it up and keep me posted. Dorothy, I love you. You're such a sweet, gentle spirit, and I feel like you're one of the mothers of Cafe Girl. Tim Kelly, the officer that died, you rock. Mary, you were one of the first, you did a bunch of photo photogs for us, and you were an amazingly gifted photographer, and I'm honored to be your friend and to have you have taken so many pictures. Wanda, thank you so much for helping us at RVTV time and time again. You are like one of the best directors of every TV. Debbie, oh my gosh, Debbie, you are a, you're, you're, you brought such a smart assness, that's a word, to your character. It was perfect. It was funny. It was exactly what, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm honored that I could have done that for you. Benjamin, thank you for um, loaning us Francesca when we, I had to take her from you and also thank you for making me jealous time and time again when you would be on set reading books and that's all I wanted to do and I had to people. Wayne, really glad to meet you. I really hope to get to know you better in the future. Charlotte, you're awesome. You're, I'm amazed. I want to, I can't wait to see what you're going to do in the world to come. Alexander, Alex, thank you so much for helping us to know how to work a green screen and all of that um, and just be an encouragement and a bright spot in the world. Thank you. Okay. Old people, um, not old people, but like the original set. Uh, see, I said I was going back. So Michael. So Michael, thank you for being Mr. E and being, besides Mr. E, 
um, the voices of so many different, like, canine to the swarm and all that. And thank you for being the Benjamin. Like, the Benjamin, if Benjamin is Francesca, then you are me, I guess. And there's so much of, like, me being gone for days at a time and up into the night, going from all these places and just being that sounding ear when I needed to vent as I was starting the business and this whole process and helping me, one of the biggest, strongest people for helping me to learn to love myself. So. Susie, you're a kindred spirit. You're more than that. You're a soul sister. You're a, a deep pool of wisdom and patience that never fails to calm me and i am in awe of your talent that is just like right there and i have so enjoyed watching you give such dimension to teresa um from the very first day in the rain with the slippers such dedication all the way through last night um you are my Teresa and always will be. I love you. Nick, my doctor, my friend, my Justin. It's been a journey and I'm glad that you were one of the first. It was just you and me in a truck sometimes and I am grateful for that and I never realized took me a while to realize, to be grateful for that dedication and to realize what a good friend you are. And I really am, from the bottom of my heart, glad for you that I can call you friend. You are definitely a kindred spirit. And I think that I really believe it was fate that kind of brought us to do this project. I think it was kind of a funny thing, but like when I wrote Justin Walker, Nick can play it. I think the universe was like, yeah, it's time you guys hung out. Um, Mark, what can I say? I am here for you, always have been. And I basically brought you in because I wanted you to have more community, to have people to know how awesome you are and how funny you are, for you to know that. If I've learned to love myself, then from all of this, I hope that you learn how loved you are. Catherine, another deep pool of wisdom and patience and encouragement. The Ronnie, Margie, I love you. Kira, my agent K, you are such a beautiful person. And I hope. If I've learned, like I said to Mark, I've learned that I am loved. I want you to know that too. You are loved. Roy. I was, the first day we filmed full transparency, I was nervous in front of you. Like you were the Roy Reigns. And then as we got to know each other, I, I realized that you were the Roy Reigns, like the biggest dork ever. And I love you. And you're, you just, you make me laugh and um, you're talented and I'm grateful that you always play jerks because you're not, you are like the opposite of a jerk. Acela. Uh, I want to work with you again in some capacity. I want you to direct. I want to, for you to write something as a scene or a script and I want to put it on even if you're not on set even if you just wrote it you are a talent and working with you I didn't have to talk I didn't have to say anything I would just be like boom and then I would get the footage back and it was just like exactly what I envisioned so thank you I love you you're a gift to the world Jonathan Reeves um Ziggy Thanks for always coming and doing these tiny little parts. That was it. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, 
I think that's it. Oh, Darby, thank you so much for, for your makeup artist skills time and time again. Specifically for, for doing what you did for Mark. Like, you really, yeah. <laughs> um, you're a beautiful person, and I continuously am in awe of your spirit and grace and beauty and and wisdom. And then I also, there's some people that aren't in this list anymore, so I'm just going to throw their names out. Cosmo Togato, thank you so much for your humor and your craft and your heart. And for Lala Peterson, thank you so much for being that flirty barista from the beginning. And to um, Danny Ice for being the kooky nurse Emma. That was pretty amazing. Um, yeah, and then lastly, I just want to thank La Lala Ward and um, Mary Tam and the writers of the actual Doctor Who show and even Tom Baker because he's Lala Ward and Mary Tam's doctor. So, But um, I think what I want to say to my character and what I've learned from playing Jane and Ramana is basically going back to the idea of taking a risk. Like when I started this project, I was in many ways lost. And by stepping forward from, you know, by having these dreams and then bringing them to fruition and taking that risk to produce it and then to start Kathy Girl Productions and to see it all the way through, time and time again, I've grown so much. And I think what I've learned from Ramana, from Jane, is that Sometimes the road is going to be rocky and slippery, slippery and you fall, will fall down and there will be people that will try to knock you down. But if you know your course and if your heart is in the right place, then wherever you are, you're going to be home and you will find love and you will find hope and you will find you will get to where you need to be. So I thank you for that. I want to leave you all with a song, but I'm just going to read it because my voice isn't what it is. Um, this is my dedication to you, the cast, to the crew, anyone who ever supported Cafe Girl, um, the viewers of Heartsick and Homesick and Kind Keys and all of that. It's called Sweet Dreams by Julie. I couldn't think of a better song since it all started with a dream. The shadows are waltzing, the moonbeams are calling. Like a dream, I am falling into silver threads lined with dew. Twinkling stars seem to shine just for you. Behind your eyes are endless blue skies. You travel places I want to come to. Each breath that you breathe is a brush stroke that leads me to you. So sleep. Fall into night's indigo hue. Believe me, it's true. There's nothing that I would not do. For my dream is sweet dreams for you. It seems far away, but there once was a day. It was gray in a world without you. To this heart like a dove from above, the miracle of your love found me. So sleep, fall into night's indigo hue. Believe me, it's true. There's nothing that I would not do. For my dream is sweet dreams for you. So hush and goodbye. And don't you cry, sweetly dream, little baby. Yes, sleep, lose yourself in night's indigo hue. Believe me. It's true. There is nothing that I would not do for my dream. Is sweet dreams. Yes, my dream is sweet dreams for you. Thank you. I love you. Six Remember. <laughs>